Whether it's spring, summer, fall, or winter, plants are always in season at the Wallace Gardens in North Scottsdale, which means caretaker and tour guide Lee Brownson is working round the clock. For more than a quarter century, the Wallace Gardens has been home to over 12 acres of cultivated area, six acres of native vegetation, and almost 78 acres of trails lining the Sonoran Desert. These measurements make the gardens one of the largest collections of cacti in the world, highlighted by the massive Cactus Pavilion. The Cactus Pavilion is a 6,000 square foot structure designed to protect some of the plants that, for example, don't like really cold weather. That building is full of specimen type plants. And we have some pretty, un, uh, pretty amazing plants in there that, that you, you can't see driving around town. But despite the abundance of greenery in the gardens, Lee says there is a severe lack of green in the garden's bank account. Eventually you run out of money, and that's what, it's, what we are facing now and trying to figure out what we can do about it. Owned by a nonprofit organization, the only source of income for the gardens come from donations. But not many people know about this cacti oasis. There are several hurdles that keep the Wallace Garden shrouded from the general public. For one thing, you can only visit the garden once you set up an appointment. It's also located within this gated neighborhood, so you'll need clearance in order to enter. And once you're inside, there are no signs that point you to where the garden is. And the map they give you, it doesn't really help either. But once you get past these difficulties, it's easy to recognize the gardens as a beautiful sight to behold. We come from an, an altogether different geographical area, so this was pretty special to see. With a little bit of help, Wallace Gardens can continue to thrive for years to come. In North Scottsdale, I'm Michael Karungi, 330 News.